What's going on, Gemini? I hope you are doing very well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for February 2022. So in this reading, we're going to take a look at some upcoming opportunities and challenges coming your way. We're also going to close off the reading with some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides. So you are all definitely very welcome here, Gemini, in this space with me as we go through the reading. Thanks a lot for dropping by and taking the time to check out the reading. I do really appreciate it. If you find that it resonates with you here, Gemini, don't forget to like and subscribe for me as well. I would also really appreciate that. So without further ado here, let's go ahead and pull the energy for your February 2022 energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what wants to come through. As always, I'd like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's lay out these cards and see what we got going on for you here. Okay. Okay. Very interesting energy for you, Gemini. Okay, so let's start off for you here in your opportunity slot for February 2022. We have the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and also the High Priestess here in your opportunity slot. Okay, so I definitely feel like there's an opportunity for you guys to, to remedy some sort of situation in your life here. Okay, um, you have the nine of swords in your opportunity. So this is an opportunity for you guys to dive into some sort of shadow, some sort of experience that you're having that causes you to lose sleep at night. Or a lot of you could be dealing with a love relationship that just seems very rocky at the moment. Okay, you have the knight of pentacles to the high priestess. So for a lot of you guys, you feel trapped because you think someone is going to come forward and make you an offer, but you're not sure if they are Gemini. Okay, you're not sure if someone is going to like let something go, essentially. So the High Priestess to the Knight of Pentacles energy for some of you definitely is trying. The opportunity is to like attune yourself to someone's energy to see if they're serious about making this offer to you because a lot of you guys are losing sleep over a potential lover that you're thinking, are they coming into my life or are they not? Because someone, I think there there is someone who wants to make you an opportunity. You just have to be open to it here. And you have to figure out how you're going to let it open, if that makes sense. Um, for others of you, though, definitely this is going to do so, more so with career. Like starting some sort of new business idea that comes to you through some sort of intuition. Something that you've been thinking about doing. It seems like there's a... There's a way out of your pain by simply acting on your passion here or like doing something that's going to lead you into a new physical reality. So new job, something like that. Okay. So we're going to have to clarify to get more information, Gemini. Um, but then we move down here to your challenge for February and we have the four of pentacles, the knight of swords, and also the tower. So there's definitely a challenge to your stability in your life right now. Okay. Either you're feeling like someone new is going to come in in love or you're going to change your career. There's, there's a big shaky feeling. So we start off with the tower in your challenge, right? So there's some sort of long held stable, stable structure in your life that is coming to a, to an end. So the tower in this card represents all the things that we've built up over time. So this could be a career, a relationship, or like for some of you, it's coming through as like being single. Like if you've been single for a long time, I feel like you're, you found yourself comfortable in that. Even if it's painful, you're comfortable with it at this point, something needs to fall apart here and kind of burn away for the new to come in. 
okay guys because something whatever is causing you pain here needs to come to an end and it may be something you've been with for a long time whether it be being single or stuck in a job or something um you also have the knight of swords in your challenge like literally attacking this four of pentacles so the opportunity with the knight of pentacles is to kind of play it safe here but i think i think more so you know the knight of swords to this four of pentacles here you're gonna have to to make a big shift in your life gemini if that makes sense whether that be initiating this love this could be you making an offer to someone in love here um but something that like is not very stable you're gonna have to take a risk here because if you try to stay safe in essence if you guys try to stay somewhere where it's bothering you but it's like tolerable that tower is going to break down so you need to trust your intuition as to where to go next because you guys are are, are moving here okay so there could be someone coming in for a very long-term commitment for you though gemini is what i sense for a lot of you there's no doubt about it okay but this the stability of that commitment coming in someone who offers yourself something i think the challenge is for you to build a new a new foundation somewhere else like someone might take you into their frame if that makes sense like you're gonna leave one frame and go into someone else's frame and that might be very scary for some of you and that's understandable right so we're gonna have to clarify some of that in a second um then we move down here to the advice from your spirit guides we have the five of cups the hierophant and also the six of wands so there's some sort of especially with this nine of swords it's connected to this card the five of cups the advice is to let something go away or take a risk okay like some of you what spirit is saying is that you've reached a point where staying in the, the safe space that you've created and doing nothing that has started to become way more painful than actually taking a risk and, and moving something in your life so if this is a lover that you you can't you feel like you can't live without but you're not actually with them yet it's time to put it on the table hey and like start talking to them the right nights are all about messages and, and communication and even traveling so this is like putting it on the table is it going to work with, between us or is it not because i need to know because i can't just wait in this energy any longer um, the opportunity as well with the Hierophant, some of you may be getting married to this person. I'm not even kidding you. Okay. You guys have kind of had this message. I think Gemini, um, repeating like something to do with like a, a long-term commitment coming in. So you also have the six of wands. This is public recognition as well. Victory of some sort. So the destruction of this tower with the nine of swords and this new energy coming into your life, whether that be a career or a new lover for a lot of you, it's going to be a new lover. This is what's going to lead to a new, a newfound stability and a newfound sense of accomplishment in your life. Okay, you're, you might be very proud to be with this person. This person might be someone who just looks good on you, if that makes sense. But you're gonna have to let something go first. So some of you may be in a relationship that you know it's time to burn the boats and you're gonna have to clear space for this new person coming in. But for some reason, you guys are very reluctant to let go of stability, even though that stability is founded upon not so not not really a stable structure. So the universe is letting you know, like. You, what you have going right now, it isn't stable anyway. Now, the Hierophant in the advice position also talks about doing things by the book, being a little bit, um, since it's in the advice position, don't, don't oppose orthodoxy too much here, okay? You know, no, don't do it too much. You might have a court case going on here for some of you in like a breakup or something. Um, you want to do things by the book here. So don't screw anyone over. Don't don't slam any doors that don't need to be slammed, right? The Knight of Pentacles in your opportunity, it is a slow, graceful moving in a direction of away from something else. So make sure you do this smoothly is what Spirit's kind of saying with that Hierophant Knight of Pentacles. Um, but let's go ahead and start clarifying some of these cards to really get into your reading. So the first card that I want to clarify for you in your opportunity is this Nine of Swords. You have the Adventure card at the bottom of the deck. Why is this Nine of Swords here for Gemini? Let's go ahead and see. Okay, you have a jumper immediately coming out of the deck. You have intensity. Okay, so there's some sort of intense, you know, that's why the nine of swords stood out to me right, right off the bat. Like this is something that you guys, you're gonna have to do something about it. Now, interestingly enough, the intensity card, this is like the knight of wands in traditional tarot. So you have three knights coming out here. So there is a bit of movement that needs to be done here in February for you guys. At least it's an opportunity. So this is an opportunity for you guys to move in a completely new direction with a burning passion so this this card says with the with the suit of wands is to not intellectualize about this trust your spirit trust what lights you up listen to your heart not your head in the opportunity because right now your head you're overthinking something instead of just taking an action on it to to um 
to get rid of the problem. Even though if it's a very scary action you have to take. I always say like some, a piece of advice that changed my life is just like there's two types of problems in your life. There's one that you can do something immediately about. The other one is you can't do anything about it, but you focus on what you can control instead. This is a problem where you guys can do something immediately about this. It's not out of your control to make a shift. So that's the category of problem that you guys should be putting this in. If you want your life, to, because if you're, if you're living your fullest, right? I hope that makes sense here, uh, Gemini. But let's go ahead also and clarify this, um, this Knight of Pentacles, right? Why is this here in your opportunity? I think someone may, may be making you an intense offer and you're like, holy crap. Um, like, I don't know if I'm ready for all this. You might be clinging to the past a little bit. All right, but let's go ahead and see. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Gemini? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the conditioning card. So if there's someone coming into you guys who wants to make yourself an offer, don't don't get hold, held down by the clinging to the past and the conditioning. So this is like you guys are a lion amongst sheep right now. I think there's another lion that wants to come in, someone who's on your level to make you a to to make you a love offer. Now for others of you though in career, don't let social conditioning and the thought and the fear of failure holding you back. Most people they disguise themselves as a sheep in the comfort of the masses of society and they don't really be their true self. They don't express themselves to their full capacity. So right now you guys are like a lion who is waiting to roar, to, to make your own sound, your own leave your own pattern in the universe by taking some sort of risky action. You guys are a lion, you need to break free from the cage, that nine of swords cage, if that makes sense. So don't be willing, don't be afraid to pull the trigger because some your intuition is guiding you in the opportunity. This may not make sense on paper, but that's why the high priestess is here because this is part of your your destiny, I would even say. Major Arcana card, suit of wands. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and move on to your challenges, the challenge slot for you here in um, February. So let's clarify this tower as the first card. Why is this tower here? Get a little bit more information for Gemini. Why is the tower card here for Gemini? Okay, the tower card is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some sort of system that you guys have built yourself around that's, that's made you a little cozy corner, but you've come to the end of the road. So the Ten of Pentacles is coming. You go all the way through all the the total suit of pentacles, you go through the whole journey. So there's something that's just not working anymore that you need to let go. It does have to do with finances though, because right, you have the four of pentacles in the challenge. This is gonna be a hit to your finances most likely. Even if it's taking a risk to meet up with this lover, there may be some sort of finances that you guys gotta put up. Some of you may have to quit your job for this person. I'm not even kidding. Some of you, that's what's going on. Some of you are definitely quitting your job to go with this love opportunity, and it's actually in alignment. Normally, I'd be like, Gemini, be careful, don't do that. In this reading, I actually do sense it's in alignment. That's why the Knight of Swords is, is trying to kill. Like, if you, look, <laughs> if you look at this reading, the Knight of Swords has been laying in this tower, right? The lion. This is who you guys really are, being bold, taking a risk. It's been in the tower. It's been hidden. It jumps out of the tower, and it immediately attacks the Four of Pentacles. So the challenge, you know... Although you want to do things by the book and be practical, you also want to follow your intuition more than anything, right? That's why the Knight of Wands is here, following your, your spirit and letting go of any practicality with that Ten of Pentacles coming to an end. This is a movement more so towards a passionate lifestyle, if that makes sense. Um, so let's also go ahead and clarify this Knight of Swords because it is the centerpiece to your reading, Gemini. What is this card doing here for Gemini? Let's go ahead and see. Okay, 
Okay, the, the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Clinging to the Past card. I wanted to make a reappearance, guys. So your challenge is to break free from the past, to jump out of the tower before it really explodes. Like, you guys have a parachute right now. You can jump out. You can do it safely, even though it seems risky. Like, jumping out of a building that's burning on fire seems risky. Even if you have a parachute, you're like, holy shit, I'm scared to do this. But you guys need to do it or else the building's going to fall. So don't cling to the past here. Step into the new, that Knight of Pentacles High Priestess. Don't be afraid here, okay? So don't let your emotions cloud your passion if that makes sense because that's what gets people get that's what gets in the way for people is not moving forward because you're you're living from the past okay so let's also move down here to your advice from your spirit guides gemini okay and let's also clarify this um this five of cups <laughs> can't even decide let's see why is this five of cups here for gemini morality jumping out of the deck here guys super interesting and you also have the lovers at the bottom of this randomly um but morality has to do with you believing that you are a bad person for making some sort of decision so this is could be something that you you have a lot of people in your life tied to this structure that's falling apart you're afraid to lose relationships you're afraid to quit on others and really start living for yourself it may be something new that you've never done before so you know don't don't let this hold you back. For for some of you as well, the advice is letting you like letting you know that right now you guys are you, you ever hear the saying, if you don't create your own reality, someone else will create it for you. Some of you are you've essentially like I don't want to say you've sold your soul to the system because you can never really sell your soul. But for some of you you've you've technically sold your soul to some sort of hierophant orthodoxy that is hijacking your self expression. So you're not a bad person for doing this move. It's a necessary part of your journey, okay? And it's going to feel bad at a period of time, but then it gets better. That's why the Six of Wands is here as well, okay? So um, let's also go ahead and clarify the Hierophant, all right? Why is this Hierophant here in the opportunity slot or, or the advice slot rather, excuse me? Okay, Harmony. Ten of Cups for the Hierophant. So I think for you guys, especially in the love, this is definitely someone coming in that's going to make you feel just at home. But getting with this person socially, other people may look down on this connection. There could be an age gap. There could be a distance thing, a culture divide. This is almost one of those readings where it's like no one wants to see you guys together even though it feels so good. Um some of you, you've built up a false sense of harmony within some sort of hierophant system that's coming to an end that you're going to have to admit to yourself, I'm actually not happy here, okay? Because that leads, truth and honesty is what leads to your victory, being willing to take action here, Gemini. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading. Looks like it's going to be a very intense February for you, but one that's going to be very pivotal in your life, okay? So if you guys want more information on your situation, feel free to book a personal reading with me, Gemini. You can find all the information on that in the description box of this video. It's always an honor and a pleasure to work with every single one of you guys. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys next week. This is the Autistic Mystic. I hope you have a wonderful February. Peace.